It's always drawn and shown this way, but our sun isn't yellow, orange, or even red. It's a mixture of all the colors together. If we could look at it, it would appear white. Unlike humans, cats don't have the same amount of toes on their front and back paws. They usually have five toes on their front paws, but only four on their back ones. If you've got a feline companion, go and take a look. Ever wondered what that tiny pocket in your jeans is for? It's a watch pocket and was originally intended as a place to store pocket watches. It dates back to 1879 to the first pair of Levi's jeans. Your brain uses different hemispheres to store different memories. Emperor penguins form large huddles. To share warmth and provide protection, they form a huddle that's constantly moving. This way, any of them can get a turn in the middle. Clouds look white because they're reflecting sunlight off the water droplets. When they're thin, a large portion of the light passes through, making the cloud appear white. As the amount of water increases, so does the thickness. We see it as gray. A margarita pizza has tomato, mozzarella, and basil on top to represent the colors of the Italian national flag. A delicious random fact. Ever sneezed because of a cat? Pets can be allergic to humans too because of cells shedding from our skin and hair, though it's rare. Also, it might be because of the smells we cover ourselves in every day, like deodorants and perfumes. Polar bear fur isn't white at all. It's transparent and hollow, and their skin is black. Their coat camouflages so well that it can sometimes pass as a snowdrift or snow dune in Arctic environments. General Sherman is the world's largest tree. Located in California, the giant sequoia is over 2,000 years old and is taller than the Statue of Liberty. Humans seem to be the only animals who really get a kick out of eating spicy food. Sure, there are benefits from eating the chilies themselves, like antioxidants, faster metabolism, and vitamin C. But we can get all that from other vegetables. There doesn't seem to be any reason to put ourselves through those hot peppers. When you eat enough carrots, your skin could turn orange. Carrots are packed with beta-carotene, a natural orange pigment. Too much of this pigment can change how you look a bit, especially in body areas with thicker skin, like your palms, soles, knees, and elbows. The ocean is blue because water absorbs the majority of red colors in the light spectrum, so there are only all the shades of blue left for us to see. The first trailer in a movie theater was shown in 1912, but for a Broadway show, not a movie. The trailers were originally played after the movie because they trailed it. Eventually, they started appearing at the beginning as viewers would instantly leave the theater once the movie had finished. There are six Mars exploration missions on or around the red planet at the moment. Does it mean that Mars is inhabited by robots? The little green men aren't saying. If the sun was the size of a front door, our planet would be the size of a nickel. In other words, the Sun could fit more than 1 million Earths. Jupiter's moon Io is 4.5 billion years old, almost as old as the planet itself. It's one of the very few bodies in the solar system with active volcanoes, and these volcanoes are powerful enough to produce spectacular views that are later captured by Earth's telescopes. By the way, Io is named after the legendary maiden who is loved by the Greek god Zeus. In the myth, Zeus turned her into a heifer in an attempt to hide her from his jealous wife, Hera. Wow, so the cow did jump over the moon. Oh, I think we could use some more cowbell. Okay, enough with the cows. Space isn't supposed to be black. There are stars everywhere. Shouldn't they light up everything around? You don't see stars wherever you look because some of them haven't existed long enough for their light to reach Earth. Saturn isn't the only planet that has rings. Gas giants Uranus, Neptune, and Jupiter have rings of their own, but they're thin and almost impossible to see. NASA can convert plasma waves, radio waves, and magnetic fields into audio tracks and listen to what's happening in space. They record all kinds of intriguing sounds, from beeps to ambulance-like howls. At the same time, space itself is an eerily silent place. There are some sound waves and vibrations, but people can't perceive them. Oceans cover 70% of the Earth. On average, the ocean is eight Empire State buildings deep, and less than 5% of its mysterious depths have been explored. 
It's even possible to find lakes and rivers beneath the ocean. They are denser than the rest of the water surrounding them, so you can clearly see the difference. When sharks need their morning show, they go to a cafe too. Back in 2002, researchers found an area in the Pacific Ocean called the White Shark Cafe, where great white sharks come during the winter. They simply hang out, tell jokes, and laugh at stories of how many humans they've scared, and then go back to the coast to scare us a little bit more when the weather gets warmer. Have you had a great white latte? Try one! You can taste garlic with your feet. Rub a clove right in your feet. Of course, take the socks off beforehand and wait for it. The chemical responsible for its unique smell can be absorbed through the skin, even though the clove never was in your mouth. By the way, lobsters can try out the same experiment. Well, they actually taste food with their feet. In Tibet, there are black diamond apples that aren't green or red, but dark purple. The place where they grow has plenty of ultraviolet light over the day, while temperatures drastically go down during the night, which makes the apple skin get a darker color. Australia has a lake of a naturally bubblegum pink color. The unusual color is there because of the pigment from a certain type of algae living there. There is a specific type of jellyfish that's actually immortal. Hey, I could see that as a logo for a life insurance company. The Earth is orbiting the Sun, but not at a fixed speed. We don't sense it, but it's slowing as time goes by, so our day will become 25 hours long in around 175 million years. So don't plan that extra hour in your schedule just yet. Space is huge, duh, but there's obviously lots of empty spots since there are more trees, 3 trillion, on our planet than stars in the Milky Way, only about 300 to 400 billion stars. Ostriches don't actually hide their heads in the sand. When they sense danger, they lower down their head, neck, and body to the ground, which makes them a little bit less visible to predators. Their light-colored necks blend in with the sand, so it only looks like their head is hidden down there. On Earth, people are used to a beautiful sunset that's painted in hues of orange, red, and yellow. On Mars, however, the normally pinkish-red sky turns blue as the sun goes down under the horizon. It's because Mars is much further away from the sun than Earth, making the sunlight less intense. The fine dust in the Martian atmosphere absorbs the blue light and gets rid of the warmer colors that you typically see on Earth. Whether it's blue or yellow, both sunsets look spectacular. On Earth, sound waves make air molecules vibrate, which is why we're able to hear sound. Other planets and moons allow sound to travel through mediums like their atmospheres, and oceans too. In space, though, it's said that there is no sound, since there aren't any molecules to vibrate and deliver sound waves. However, not all researchers agree on this, given that space isn't just a desolate vacuum. In between the emptiness, there are clouds of gas and other stray particles. So, depending on where you are, sound waves can be possible. Humans have been exploring space for over 60 years, and the effort has certainly paid off. All the planets in our solar system have now been explored, even the dwarf planets of Pluto and Ceres. Most of the exploration was done by NASA's Voyager program, which began in 1977. Voyager 1 and 2 collected information on the planets, their moons, and their unique system of rings and magnetic fields. These twin spacecraft continue to send data back to Earth, and Voyager 1 is currently in interstellar space. In 2011, astronomers discovered an enormous water reservoir simply floating in space around a supermassive black hole called a quasar. Floating water vapors have been found throughout the universe, but they aren't that common. This particular reservoir holds around 140 trillion times the amount of water in the Earth's oceans. This one is the oldest, largest, and at more than 12 billion light-years away, it's the farthest known to humankind. 